major highway, nip crap. What? Just stop it. Oi. Do that again for a good thumbnail. Bunch of reefer addicts around here, Jack. It's 32 degrees this morning, and guess what's full? Hey, truck looks pretty good up there. Yeah, you guessed it. Yeah. Better hold this because it's not glued just in case. I don't want it coming out on me. That would suck. I just got back from a walk and I came up with this really cool idea for pipe cleaner reindeers on the girl's head. I think they look adorable. Here's the boop. <laughs> Here's the kiss. Kiss, look here. <laughs> we had enough with hers. You want to take yours off? Drilling a case, another GoPro case. With a dental tool. It's not a dental tool, it's a nail tool. Mike, you can't hear the mic. I gotta get. The... Oh, it froze. Shut it off. Shut it off. Shut it off. It's frozen because Freddy has to push everything instead of just slow. Yeah, He's gonna ruin good. every single one of my nail tools pretty soon. Oh, it's cold out, huh? And just in case, just in case you guys are wondering, we take. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to hit the tripod. We take our dogs out with a bat. What I mean by that is, we walk our dogs to the bathroom. We don't really, really walk them. We just put them out here, and we have a bat just in case because there's other big pit bulls, and they're not going to get our dogs. It's the largest leaf ever, and he has bumps. Bumps. What kind of disease does that leaf have? He's got warts. Leaf. Between the weather station and the back of the RV, and then the ham radio Look. over there, we got a lot of stuff going on Look. around here. What? You can see the workings of the leaf. The workings of the leaf. What? I am looking at the wishbone okay. that Ashley and I kept from the turkey, but which side is the bigger we side? We keep forgetting. There we go. Okay, what do you wish for? What do you wish for? I can't tell you. Okay. All right, bye. I mean, uh, go Ready, ahead. Ready? One, two, three. Two, three. Oh, she got it. Uh oh, no, no, no. Oh. The dog must that means it. my wish is gonna come true. What do you, what do you wish for? I can't tell you. It's do come do true. that again for a good thumbnail. Thumbnail. She made me lunch with gluten-free bread and what is that? Ooh. Potato salad? Huh? Yeah. Look, the top of the pickles are dried out because Fred keeps throwing the pickle juice down the drain. Our dog does not listen. Look it. I need a screw. This big. It's all rusted for the cameras. Yeah, it's all rusted. I need like eight of them. Tractor supply for dog food. Did you know they had dog food at tra tractor supply? Huh. Do they have screws? Come on, get the damn, the darn things right up her ass. Come on. I don't have all day. What's the swearing? What's the swearing? Ass is not a swear. It is a swear. You get, you can't be touching the thing past I'm not touching it. You gotta grab right here. <sighs> you are so bossy. He's so bossy. He wonders why I'm bossy? Hmm. They call me Ross the Boss for a reason there. Oh. We were walking in a tractor supply and Fred says, God, it stinks here. I said, because there's a horse uh, trailer right there. Do you not see it? <laughs> Little known troublesome fact about dogs and having drinks in your car when you get in there. Izzy's paw must have made it into my cup probably a good three or four times since we've been in the car. So any drinks that you want must be covered. Must be a covered cup that you take with you. What do you think this is? Some kind of romper room What's that jack? song that you say? Romper room jack. What is that under your eye? You see it? Uh-huh. Yeah, right under your eye. I don't know. Come here, what is that? Hand, Come you, here! Did you put the stuff yes, on your I hand? did. As soon as I got in the good car. Well, relax. I'll do Is that it. a booger? It's not a booger. It's a sty or something. You got a sty from peeing in the alley? Better? No, still there. Just leave me alone. But you got sleeps on that yeah, corner. I, all right, man. Leave you alone. You keep it up, and I'm gonna smother you even more. Well, tell me to leave you alone. I need a screw. I believe that Fred needs to go back to driving school. I think there's a bunch of freaking. Reef erratics around this town. They don't let you anywhere. Everybody's a reef erratic to him. Do you know where I got that name, Reef Erratic? What do you think? Michael J. Fox and Back to the Future. Bunch of reef erratics around here. Jack! So, 10 years ago, when Ross and I first came to Boone to visit some friends, where we fell in love with um, 
North Carolina. Our friend took us to Ruby Tuesdays in Lenore. And guess what? It was that Ruby Tuesdays right there. Rush, 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 rush. That's all they do. It's a big rush. I don't know what the big hurry is. It's like, is there a nuclear bomb going to go off or something? I don't, I don't get it. You're the one that's been rushing everybody since you woke up out of bed today. Hey, look, Days In. Taco Bell. I'm going to bring you to the Days In instead of the uh, RV. What? That's what's going to go on. What's Maybe that? I'll bring you to the Days In. Look at this guy. Look at this freaking guy. I think this guy has picked the wrong lane. It's a major highway, nip crap. Uh, we walked yesterday. Fred told me his feet were numb, so we had to come home. And then we walked again, and it was an, a mile and a half, which was pretty good. And it was within 20, 24 minutes or something, I don't know, that we walked. But we had to walk slow because his feet were hurting him. Um, and I know that a lot of people on the channel have said something about uh, diabetes and stuff like that for his feet. He doesn't have diabetes. He's not pre-diabetic. He has spina bifida. Um, so that's what causes the pain. And, well, not really pain. His feet don't hurt. It's just it's very uncomfortable to him because they're numb. The whole bottom of his feet and the tops of his toes get numb. Um, his big toes. And then when it gets cold, it's even like 10 times worse because, you, you know, when you get cold, you get numb feet and numb hands, stuff like that. But with him, his feet, oi, he just has a rough time. And two, it's probably time for a new pair of shoes, but you know, Freddie, he is constant about waiting and waiting and ah, I don't spend the money, nah, 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 whatever. I believe in saving money um, on certain things. Well, on everything, we save money. But on certain things, I do believe that quality, it doesn't matter what the cost is because you need them. Um, like shoes, shoes, you should never, ever, ever go you know low quality on your shoe number one I'm gonna tell you why my feet hurt if I use low quality shoes Ross's feet hurt and they don't last as long so well at least for me I don't know maybe it's just Ross is really hard on his shoes I guess he is totally I mean he goes through one pair of shoes I just noticed I, it was a pilot and I thought it was a Hurst whoops a little bit of an update on us looking for land and houses and all of this and that you guys know that we sold our house in Florida so that we could come out and explore and see exactly where we wanted to be and what areas of you know the East Coast that we want to be in Fred wanted to push and push to go a little further west but I really I'm not a fan of that and I'm really not a huge fan of living in the mountains either visiting is fine but living not so much um, I believe that we need to buy stores and buy certain things and I believe that there's a reason why there are stores to make our life easier. It's not, and you guys know that I like to have, you know, handmade things and things like that, but there are times when it's just easier to go to the store and get it. Um, or, you know, you need to see the doctor or the girls need to be the vet or, you know, Ross needs new sneakers, something like that, you know. So we're look, we were looking for an area where we could live outside of town, but still not be too far from town and go in and, um, you know, do what we need to do in town and then come back up. We have been searching and searching and searching. You guys have seen that we've gone out and look at properties. Uh, the last property we could not purchase because of the, um, it, we didn't have internet out there. So did you know that every dog's nose is like our fingerprints? How every human's fingerprints are different. Every dog's nose print is different. Did you know that? I bet you didn't know that. I figured that out. Fred usually has this Manfrotto thing with him everywhere he goes. It's like his, it's like a leg. It's attached to him 24 hours a day. And I do take it with me, but I don't show you guys every single thing. Like going into the grocery store, or going into the mall, or going into Bath and Body Works or something like that. I don't always bring it in because a lot of people are like, hey, what's going on? Why do you got that? Uh, and especially since people have gone bananas now. By the time Fred gets to the end of my rants, he's going to be like, no more. I'm not putting any more on here. That's enough. See what happens when you leave me in the car with just the GoPro and the Manfrotto? See what happens? And for all of my PA peeps, guess what? There is two sheets. There are two sheets in Hickory. I was pretty excited to see that. I was like, yes. What's a PA peep? Huh? It's a PAP. A PAP. A person from Pennsylvania. It's a PAP. Roger Susie. 
We'll have to get together maybe this weekend or something. We're just getting tired. I gotta still go for a test drive, edit two hours of video. And, uh, and, uh, well, we did a night run. Now we're gonna do a day run, check out these cameras in this DVR, see how it works in the daytime. Pretty impressed at night. That's a cool shot right there because you got both sides. Off to bed, guys. See ya. Got to edit video. Well, got to edit video, then off to bed. See ya. Have a good day. Love y'all. Lakers and Cheryl, you know you'll find us funny.